65, Dad was looking around for um, for a place to start a camp. I don't really know. I mean, I was eight years old. I don't really know all that was in his mind, but uh, I know that he he really liked youth work. He liked camp work, and he really wanted to find a suitable location for that. And I remember that as a family, we probably did more fishing that first year up here, even though he was pastoring the church. You know, it seems like we went out fishing every week. And as I look back on it, he was just looking for places. I mean, Ontario has 250,000 lakes. Now, mind you, it's still 500 miles north of Hudson Bay and 1,100 miles down to our provincial capital of Toronto. I mean, it's a big place, but even in our region, there's hundreds and hundreds of lakes. And I remember uh, Jim and I were with him. We had flown into a place called Big Sandy, and he was talking to um, some crusty old tourist camp operator, just quite a character, you know. And he said, well, you know, there's a, there's a lake called Trout Fly, and it's, a, it's just west of here, and you could fly in there and take a look at that. That's really got good water, he said. And so Dad flew into Trout Fly Lake, and it had an old logging road that had sort of grown in and washed out. You couldn't drive into it, but there was this remains of this old road, but he flew his plane into it and uh, found the spot and after looking at all the different locations, he just sort of got settled on it. This is the place. And he went into uh, the local M&R office and obtained a lease with an option to buy this property. And uh, they started out here. And as time has kind of gone on, it's sort of become clear what this lake is. <clears throat> this lake is probably a mile across and then it's a mile down the other direction. It's got the main part of the lake, it's got this arm of the lake, it's got the north arm of the lake, it's got 11 islands on it, it's a spring-fed lake, it's a rocky shoreline, 100 feet deep, it's what they call a cold water resource, which means it's highly protected, and uh, just got trout in it, and it's the high lake. While these other big lakes around here, their docks will be, you know, up and down six, eight feet, depending on the season or the time of the season. This lake varies maybe a foot, maybe a foot and a half, and it's just be a, by what the beavers do down at the far end of the lake, you know, how, how high they build the dam. But uh, this, this place, there's nothing else on it. All the land around here is crown land. And eventually, when Dad began to build buildings here, uh, they bought the property, and it's owned by Camp of the Woods Ministries, Inc., and uh, the charitable organization here in Ontario. And because it's a cold water resource, because it's protected, and uh, the Crown doesn't release any other land around here. So here we are on this entire uh, lake really a bigger lake than you can really fully explore you know in a week's time of just canoeing around the edges it's it's interesting it's pretty uh, and there's no one, no one else here it's all crown land around us so we basically have the uninterrupted use of this entire resource with without having to own more than just uh, 15 20 acres and leasing a few other acres and so it's just amazing and even uh, the water itself is so clear, it's beautiful. And um, the fact that there are only trout in it's a great thing too, because if there were lots of walleye and northern pike, you'd have fishermen in here, you'd have boats in here, and people running around, and we may see, um, we probably see less than five people all summer long in here to fish, uh, simply because they're in the other big lakes where there's lots of game fish, and nobody wants to try to catch trout in the summertime so here we are with this perfect resource and it's basically for use for our campers and everything we're doing here the lake is big enough to be interesting not so big that you lose campers in a sudden storm you know when, when the wind comes up or whatever the campers can always get blown back and of course Camp of the Woods is situated on the south east shoreline of the lake so we're looking to the 
uh, west northwest so we get to see all the sunsets right across the lake as well and so it just you know looking back on it you say wow uh, did dad mom did they really understand all of that I don't think they really did but I think God understood it I think he knew that this was the perfect location two miles off the uh, highway that goes to Sulaco uh, 14 miles off the Trans Canada Highway we seem so remote at one time but here we are uh, within just uh, a few miles of the highway that goes coast to coast in Canada and so excellent access to points east and west uh, the towns of Thunder Bay and Winnipeg were right smack in the middle of those cities and 